So ladies and gentlemen, finally, after long, long, long time, almost 25 to 30 days after staying in its sign of debilitation, Venus has now finally entered Libra, which is his Mool Trikon sign. And it's a very important sign because it's the original seventh house of the Kal Purush Kundli. And Mercury is also transiting in Libra now. And very soon Mercury is going to go retrograde. And Venus is also out of combustion now. Almost you can say degree wise. And therefore now the houses which Venus rules in your chart. You will be able to see that now there is a new path for the next nine months. And after nine months again Venus almost nine months or around that time venus will go retrograde again so therefore uh, it's it's a very important time for us to uh, focus on the things that we should be doing okay and the retrogression will of course you will start feeling the effects from almost six months from now itself and then finally the period will culminate and end and finally another two three months so for the, uh, by the next nine to ten months you will be able to see the retrogression being completed so therefore now this is a new cycle after combustion and venus gets combust in between you know retrogression is 18 months and then in between it's combust so therefore now finally venus is out and now venus is ahead of the sun this is a very uh, in, this has a very important significance where well, what happens is when when a planet becomes combust it can be combust because of two reasons either because see the sun will never be retrograde the sun always is moving ahead but sometimes when a planet tries to overtake and cross ahead of the sun then the planet has to cross through sun I mean, not in a literal sense, but in an astrological sense. And then the planet gets combust. And that combustion lasts for very long because sun also keeps moving always. And then the planet has to move. Uh, so the relative motion is uh, for a very long time. Unless it's a very quick planet like moon. But for other planets like uh, Mercury and Venus, apart from moon which are faster in movement than the sun because all the other planets are moving slower than the sun so mercury and venus takes relatively longer time when they are crossing the sun and uh, becoming combust and then moving ahead and the other combustion is of course when mercury venus goes retrograde they move backwards from the perspective of the earth which is known as vakri motion and then the combustion time is very less because then sun is moving ahead and the planet is moving backwards so both the both the planets when they go retrograde um, or sorry when they get combust they have a different meaning all right and today we'll try to discuss about that meaning what happens and what does it mean when this planet will be in libra now especially venus all right so if you are new to the channel then please subscribe to it and if you want a consultation from me Regarding this transit or any other transit or any dasha or any ashtagvarga, then you can always go down to my website down in the description section. And yes, God is there with you all the time. Just look to Him and you will find Him. So, what is what is Venus now? Venus is our ability to find happiness in this material realm. That's what Venus is, and therefore Venus deals with. See, Venus is a very interesting planet. It deal it has a lot to deal with externals and internals. People think that Venus is only an external planet and internally some more of love, but it's not exactly like that. Venus rules everything in your life, basically. So what what exactly is Venus? Venus, Venus represents anything which makes your life more comfortable. Venus represents all those things all without which also you can probably live or ex exist. But with Venus, the 
your life becomes worth living. Without Venus, life does not seem worth living. That's what Venus is. And that is why it's the uh, prime significator of companionship or marriage because uh, even if you have a million dollars, but if you don't have anybody to share your wealth or your name and fame or prosperity or your resources with, you will be miserable and you'll be lonely and you'll be unhappy inside. And it also rules the second house originally of Taurus, which is family. That's why family is very important. Uh, but if you if you see that there are many people who live without family and without getting married, it doesn't mean that they are unhappy. All right. So Venus, depending on its placement, can tell us what is going to give us fulfillment, what is not going to give us fulfillment. So many times what happens is Venus is not well placed in somebody's chart. And then not having a, a marriage or not having a family makes them happy all right but that's not the generic trend because in general by default venus doesn't represent that but if somebody's venus is very badly placed then that unfortunate situation comes that or i would say it is not exactly that the person becomes happy by not getting married or by not having a family because to uh, you, you need that to become happy but the thing is there is so much misery involved if Venus is badly placed in family or marriage or relationships that you prefer staying away from it. Not because that you become happy, but it's just that you don't want that misery and that the horror again. All right. So in that way, you can say that maybe you are a bit happy, but that's passive happiness. That's not actual happiness. It's just a negation of misery. So therefore, Venus can represent all those things which give us comfort in life, which adds value actually. Value added tax, VAT. <laughs> That's what Venus is. Anything that adds value, anything where uh, there, it feels as if there is life. Okay, so for example, uh, people can just come like this in front of the camera, but if they put more makeup and they come, then it looks much better and then uh, others also feel that yes i am seeing something good i am seeing something beautiful or it's anything i mean you you can write with a normal pen or you can write with a parker pen you know it adds more value although it's the same content as i said even if it is not there you will not die you will still survive you will sustain so if you sign with a general normal pen also your signature will be valid but if you sign with a parker pen maybe you feel as if your signature is more worth. And therefore, when Venus goes combust, when it becomes combust in the forward motion, which means when it is trying to overtake the sun, then what happens is sun represents the ego. Sun represents the kingdom, our conception of being in this world. So then what happens is, Sun can show some sacrifices which we need to do for existing in this world. So therefore, when Venus crosses ahead of the sun in transit, then it, it means that our sense of comfort and our sense of VAT, value added tax, <laughs> that is under challenge. That is under trial. And then we have to sacrifice those things to become happy some of them depending on your chart and then venus goes ahead of the sun so that means now as venus has crossed the sun and it has come forward um, the combustion is now almost over and therefore now we realize that we had made certain sacrifices especially when venus was in virgo much of it and in leo and cancer also to some extent from Gemini itself, this is going on. And now finally the sacrifice is complete. And when it was in Virgo, we almost felt that the houses which Venus rules in our chart, it's not uh, worth uh, investing more time in those houses. Because when a planet gets debilitated in transit, it gives us a feeling that 
anyways these houses will not function even if i work <laughs> so therefore a sense of negativity or a sense of self doubt comes because that planet is a part of our own so some part of our consciousness so it's like doubting ourselves if if something is going to work or putting it the other way around is it is it worth working for that area is it worth will it serve me results at the end so now finally the combustion is over so the sacrifice is also done and the debilitation is over and suddenly venus has entered chitra nakshatra now in fact it is going to enter swati i guess very very soon in fact maybe it has already entered today so what is chitra nakshatra we have to understand without understanding the nakshatras and the progression you will never understand what a zodiac sign is so what is chitra nakshatra chitra nakshatra um, i can speak about it in detail but avan ji has made a wonderful video on chitra nakshatra yes very nice video it's almost 50 52 minutes long so you can go to his channel ab astrology and you can type chitra nakshatra or you can type chitra and aman bedi like this in youtube you will find it okay so you can study about chitra nakshatra in detail but what is chitra nakshatra chitra nakshatra is the shining jewel as they say na shining star you know the bright one the word chitra has many meanings chitra one of the meanings is uh, drawing painting or anything which looks good which feels good all right that's what chitra is so chitra is the shining star so this means anything which you want to uh, present as if it is very shining so the houses which venus rules in your chart maybe from the last 10 days you were undergoing a experience of furnishing something and when the virgo uh, part is active you know the chitra in virgo then the finishing is going on and then when the virgo uh, virgo part ends and libra starts where chitra again spans you know two palas of chitra then we can feel that now we are ready to showcase it to others because the third pada shows uh, showcasing and communicating and showing it to the masses something like that so now when venus just entered libra almost a week back the first two three days you could have felt that now we have we, we have a tendency to put ourselves out in the public and show the world the Uh, the things related to the houses which venus rules in the chart depending on the ascendant of course and then we enter swati nakshatra where venus will probably enter tomorrow and swati is a very interesting nakshatra because it deals with vayu and seventh house itself is also i mean it's uh, if you see libra it is also air sign right so swati is the most important nakshatra in libra and swati is the only nakshatra that falls completely within libra chitra two parts and vishaka one part doesn't fall in libra so therefore what happens when we showcase something and then we enter swati then the thing that we wanted to showcase now that is in front of everybody and now others pass judgments oh is this good is this bad to what extent is it good what extent is it bad not good not good not bad not bad what's going on so whenever a planet is transiting uh, swati so suppose somebody's 10th lord is venus or leo lagna or a Cap uh, capricorn lagna so then what will happen your career can undergo some uh, similar circumstances that you need to give some presentation or show your work to somebody else and then others may pass comments oh i think this is not good i think that is not good maybe you should do it like this you should do it like that so or in the seventh lord the spouse or marriage related issues these kind of things can come up so you always need to take care that you do not waste too much time feeling bad about the opinions of others about you because 
in this material world there are so many people and whatever you do regardless of your good bad material spiritual whoever there will be people who will criticize you they will blaspheme you they will insult you they will insult you your mother your father your brother sister family husband wife everybody they will insult you and sometimes for no reason the only reason they criticize you is because they are envious they cannot have what you have that's the reason they criticize you and they cannot criticize uh, their spouse because then their spouse will throw them out of their house or if they criticize their spouse or their boss then the boss will throw them out of the company so therefore maybe they sit and keep criticizing you because maybe you are a soft target to them <laughs> so when a planet transits swati we have to understand that criticism is we 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 should only give some uh, criticism or some feedback whenever we are asked so for example if somebody is somebody we don't like something about somebody we, we 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 do not necessarily have to always go and criticize that person or say it in his face if the person asks then it's a different story so therefore when swati gets activated beware of this fact that many people may say things which you don't like because that's how people are most of the times so you have to understand and you have to realize that your self esteem does not depend on what others think think of you that's the biggest challenge and that is why in swati nakshatra sun reaches his peak debilitation right in 8 to 10 degrees of swati in libra so therefore uh, because sun gets debilitated there so your your conception of being is challenged and you feel as if you need to run behind other people uh, seeking validation oh i am i i am doing this what do you think is this good or bad is this right or wrong what do you think what is your opinion so when planets are transiting swati we have to realize that we have to be fixed within ourselves and because it is venus it can deal with the things that we like to do it can be anything painting or singing dancing or anything it can be all right that depends on your chart and then when the planet will enter vishakha nakshatra the first three padas of vishakha fall in inside libra itself so that time what can happen is now we know our strengths and weaknesses and we see both of them together but what happens in vishakha is we kind of try to hide our weaknesses even though we know and we try to present them as you know strengths or we try to show that they are although they are weaknesses but it's not a big deal you know it doesn't matter but there that's also a very challenging nakshatra because in the fourth pada of vishakha which goes to scorpio moon gets debilitated there so when we are hiding our weaknesses when we are hiding the things that we did wrong or the blunders that we committed that makes us more insecure and that makes us more unhappy in vishakha so therefore when vishakha planet when planets are transiting vishakha we have to realize that we don't need to be perfect we cannot be perfect and we need not be perfect what's the big deal everybody does mistakes everybody commits blunders that's fine so during vishakha it is important that if we have done something wrong we try to correct them and not just pretend as if you know we will beat around the bush or we are going to as in asmis they say na sale bare kubwa this means i can't translate it <laughs> so during vishakha you have to realize that life can take different courses of action and from swati the lesson is that we have to be fixed within ourselves just because somebody likes us or hates us doesn't change who we are and then we have to learn who we are and then with that we have to work on our strengths and keep an eye on our weaknesses all right so this is how venus will give you the effects and now that venus is going to enter swati 
So just check the houses which Venus rules in the chart. All right. So it can happen that somebody passes some comment to you regarding those houses. All right. So suppose is the fourth house suppose venus is your fourth lord then maybe somebody asks you, you know where are you taking a car or a property or something a vehicle or anything it can be all right or when you are studying when you are going to complete your education these kind of things people may ask and then they may throw some comments at you now either they will be good or bad that will be dependent on your dashas and your individual horoscope and what is going on but this is just an overview which i wanted to give so that you can understand how the planets behave in different nakshatras inside a particular zodiac sign and specifically after combustion all right so there you go thank you very much for your patient hearing and if you like this video click the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and if you want a consultation, you can always go down to the description section. All right. God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you must find him.